everyone, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with one of my uh, regular co-hosts on this shit. My good old friend, Minho. Hello. Yeah, we're back behind the target dumpster. Yeah, we didn't uh, find anything good today. Actually, I did. Since Valentine's Day passed, they threw away all the chocolate and, can and cotton candy that they had left over to make way for Easter, so I'm, I'm cooking right now. Cotton candy? No, no, they do not throw away cotton candy. You just bought that. That's crazy. I would. Don't look at the twenty tubs that I have. <laughs> you bought a lifetime supply and you're eating it all in a week. Yeah, I need to get more. <laughs> I might. Oh. I might tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god! What it's... is your cotton candy addiction? It's so good, man. Maybe it's because, like, as soon as cotton candy hits, like, water or, like, saliva, it immediately starts disintegrating. Maybe maybe it's that feeling, I don't know. But they come in different flavors. <laughs> That's the reason why you like it? It just disintegrates on contact with the liquid? Dude, you ever see the video of a raccoon, and he's, like, he gets handed a piece of cotton candy, and he goes to wash it in the lake, and then it disintegrates, and he looks all sad? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never seen that. I gotta see if I can find it later. But, um, the, the wheel decided that, uh, we, Minho, you will get your gift today of a Minecraft ship that you so desperately wanted to read. You know, upon reading these tags, I'm starting to regret that decision. Wait, what's wrong with the tags? It's just hashtag background, hashtag BL, hashtag boy love, hashtag cobblestone, fluff. Uh -huh. LGBT, very, very normal tag, yes. Uh, male, male love male. Yes, yeah, this, this is good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. They even had the tag uh, started as a joke, so you know this is gonna be good content. Okay. All right, this one is called my or and only. <laughs> a story Even about two. Title. A story about two Minecraft blocks that overcome their hardships and fall in love. Start off as a joke. I don't know what happened. It says updates every Friday, but uh, the last time this was updated was November 6th. So I don't think they're keeping up with that. Oh, 2021. Yeah. Oh, 2021, 2023. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Randomly came back to it after yeah. two years and <laughs> started writing more. Yes, but um, this is 92 reads, and we're about to be 93 right now. Well, technically 94 because we're doing this separately of the books. But uh, 94 reads and zero votes. Oh, we're about to vote on this shit, man. We're we're about to make this this person write more. <laughs> no. no. Why not? Okay, this already looks okay. It doesn't hurt my eyes. This author only wrote this one book. Yeah, how- oh yeah, it's a 24 minute read, so who knows how long this is. Um, I mean, this doesn't look bad right now. We can make this work. Let me, uh, let me go find a quarter. <laughs> Aren't you excited? Hey, you, know you know what, I haven't read it yet, so I won't read the corner and yeah, I'll just go on to it with an open mind. Can't judge a book by its cover. That's the number one rule. And not even by the title either. Like, what's wrong with the title, My Or and Only? Classy. It's very classy. Yeah. Alright, I found a penny. Do you want to be heads or tails to read first? Uh, heads. Alright, heads, you read, tails, I read. It's heads. Suffer. Oh my god. <laughs> the one time. <laughs> that I need it to be on tails. Yeah, what's wrong? You don't you don't like this? I heard that smirk. <laughs> you can't hear shit. <laughs> I'm gonna put on Minecraft back on music while I just read this. You gotta have like the I'll random the cave noise to interrupt. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the ambience noises. Yeah. No. <laughs> just go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. First chapter, Obsidian X Cobblestone. By the way, all these chapters are named Obsidian X Cobblestone. Yeah, I don't know why that is a thing, but... 
But uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. Uh, cobblestones POV. <sighs> One day I was blocking out to the. Oh my God. One day I was blocking out to the <laughs> Nether portal to say hello to Obsidian. Wow, I think to myself. He looks so blocky today. You know what? Can we read something else? <laughs> no, this is the wheel picked and we found it! <laughs> Keep reading! He looks so blocky today. I don't know if I can handle his intense stare specif specifically pointed at me. H Hi, I say shyly. <laughs> hey, he says in that hot voice of his. Okay. Look, even the cobblestone is thinking the same thing you are. Wow, I can't handle this. It says, wow, I can't handle this. It's just too much. He's so hot. <laughs> I can't handle it anymore and run away. The suing the whole way home. This de suing. I don't what know. What is that word? Do you want to do cobblestone's POV and then I'll do obsidian's POV? Uh, is there enough POVs to do that? Yeah, I mean, it alternates. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's okay. do that. I'll spare you. <laughs> Wait, so you're Obsidian or yeah, are I'm, I I'm, I'm Obsidian and you're gonna be Cobblestone. Wait. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> Did I scare him off? I wondered to myself. God, I hope not. <laughs> He's way too cute to to not be in my life anymore. Okay, I'm turning off this Minecraft music for <laughs> my depressing playlist. <laughs> Just some sad violin play. <laughs> I didn't think I could live without cobblestone. He's my rock, literally and f uh, figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling. Damn, I muttered to myself. I need to go talk to him. I start running in the direction. I'm imagining like. You know, like, um, you ever see, like, Minecraft Prop Hunt? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm like, picturing, like, that, where, like, this this block is just moving and jumping. Oh, just yeah, as the a is running around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I start running in the direction that Cobblestone left, yelling his name all along the way. I see him hiding behind a tree. God, is he okay? I slowly walk towards the other side of the tree. He's crying. Oh, absolutely not! This won't stand! I gently tapped on his blocky shoulder. He turns around with tears in his eyes. Gently, I wiped them away. Hey, are you okay? Now I am, he responds. Uh... It's gonna be okay, man. Deep breaths. Yeah, this is why... This is why I was gonna say, you know what, I wanna read Obsidian instead of Cobblestone, because I can see this <laughs> guy is like... Yeah, he's he's definitely not... Okay, you know... <laughs> okay! <laughs> wow, I breathe. His hands are rough, but like that nice kind of rough. <laughs> the kind of rough that tells you that he works hard every day. If we ever started dating, I know that he would take care of me, but that's a stupid thought. I shouldn't be thinking these things. I feel my face heat up and I gently bat his hand away. I'm fine, I say. A lie. You're crying. So what? I don't like it when you cry. <laughs> I don't like it when you cry. I look up at him. Breath caught in my throat. My head is spinning. He's so close to my face. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. It just slipped out. I don't like seeing him cry. It makes me angry. <laughs> I want to find out whoever is making him sad and destroy it for good. I want to make him happy every day. I want him to feel safe all the time. You really mean that? I was caught off guard by Cobblestone's soft voice. That's totally the voice I gave him. I looked, I, I looked at him with a smile and soft eyes. I do. I see Cobblestone cheeks gain a dust of pink. <laughs> yeah, right. The baka. <laughs> okay. Uh, it hurts. <laughs> You'll make it through this. Have some juice. Alright, bring some juice. Yeah, juice will make everything better. It's 
gonna be okay. Just deep breaths. <laughs> Alright, cobblestone's POV. <laughs> I was still a little shaken up about what happened under the birch tree. I laughed it off and walked away. Obsidian looked a bit hurt, but also like he understood. I started towards the oak house with flowers all around it to meet up with a crafting table and furnace. I walked in and slowly announced myself. Hey, I'm back. I heard the telltale sound of blocks shuffling towards me. Crafting table and furnace, my two closest friends. Crafting table... <laughs> <laughs> what is this yeah, crafting table and furnace, my two closest friends, crafting table and furnace. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just not had that part... You could just end the sentence there, but alright. Uh, my two closest there. friends, crafting table and furnace. Finally, furnace yells. What took you so long, crafting table questions? Well, I was talking to Obsidian, I say shyly. Furnace and crafting table share a look. And? Furnace asks. Well, nothing really, I say, feeling my cheeks turn a light shade of pink. Uh-huh, sure, of course, that's why you're blushing. I am not, I say, hiding my face. I see crafting table roll her eyes. Okay, crafting table's a girl. Alright, identified. Whatever, just come <laughs> eat. Lunch is ready. I nod and follow her to the uh, to the dining room. Furnace oh, always made the best. Uh oh, always made the best meals. <laughs> it's like random typos. You know what? Shout out because that's how you know that this is not like an AI generated prompt from a crafting table or not crafting table. I'm sitting in cobblestone. Sorry. I can't, There's typos everywhere. I can't believe you mix up our, our two ships in this Minecraft universe together. Hey, honestly, the crafting table furnace is canon now that we see them together. Yeah. We don't know if they're female and female or male and male, but, like, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, first of all, why is Obsidian and Cobblestone male? We just decided that. I don't know. They're, just, they're blocks. They're ambiguous. No, it's the vibe that they give off, you know? <laughs> what kind of... This, I mean, the male it, vibe coming off of a cobblestone block? I mean, it's kind of like Spanish, you know? Like, like from what I'm learning, a lot of things have a gender associated with it. Like, uh, la mesa, that's the table. But it's assigned a female gender for some reason. <laughs> I, I mean, yes. Yeah, and same thing with, like, salad. It's el and salada. It's male, for la, some reason. Yeah, la biblioteca. <laughs> what did you say? The female library. Oh, no. <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? Yeah, so it was like that. Like, they were, like, catching the vibe. They were like, yeah, Cabo seemed like a, a twink male. And Obsidian is like a tough, rough dude. <laughs> what a sentence right. I said. <laughs> Uh, I nod and follow her to the dining room. Furnace away always made the best meals, but somehow my stomach was in so many knots that I didn't think I would be able to eat much. But if I just skipped lunch, they would know something is up, and I do not feel like answering these questions right now. I sit down next to Furnace and slowly eat my food, just trying to focus on the taste, but my mind, my mind keeps on drifting back to him. His voice, his hands... <laughs> The way I could feel his gentle breathing on my cheek. I, I quickly move my train of thoughts to somewhere else. I can't be thinking the, these things of crafting table and furnace around. I just can't. It's too much. After I finish my meal, I excuse myself and head to my room and lay down on my red bed. As soon as I close my eyes, I'm drifting off to sleep. I'm dreaming that I'm sure of... Um, wait, I'm dreaming that I'm sure of, because I would never have the nerve to ask Obsidian out on a date. So the first strike was that Obsidian was sitting across from me, watching me with those eyes again. I see his hand move across the table to gently hold mine in his. <sighs> his hands are so much bigger than mine, I think, while feeling my face heat up. Wait, what's he doing? He's leaning in. Wait, he's about to- oh- Oh my god. <laughs> oh my I god. jolt up in my bed, sweat running down my forehead. Oh, bars? Okay. 
I sigh and wipe my brow. I get up to go shower. And try to forget that dream ever happens. It's gonna be impossible to face him today. I can't believe I they're like... doing pre premarital hand holding. I can't. Yeah, premarital block holding. Yeah. So I love that the, this makes the way this is written makes it seem like they're like these blocks are walking around and shuffling. So it makes it seem like all the humans have gone extinct and the blocks have become sentient. <laughs> I feel like everyone is watching me. That dream really has me on edge. I know I'm going to run into Obsidian sometime today. The world is surprisingly small. But whatever, I can't focus on that today. I have errands to run. I need to get groceries and buy furnace and crafting table something for their anniversary. They're married. See, it is canon. So cool. I wonder if Obsidian and I will ever have an anniversary. No, no, no. <laughs> not the time, not the place. I have things to do. Bananas need to be bought. <laughs> what the hell? I shake my head to gain some composure and walk into the grocery store. I walk around the aisles and check things off my list when suddenly I see him. No, not here. Bad timing. I can come back later if I just need to get out of here. I start to walk to self-checkout, but I can feel his eyes on me. Oh god, he definitely saw me. I quickly start to scan my groceries when I feel a tap on my shoulder. Shoot. I turn and try to keep my face a normal temperature. Hey, I said, avoiding his eyes. Hey. He's smiling at me. I can't. His smile- okay. <laughs> He's smiling at me. I can't. His smile is too much. Too pure. Wait, I'm staring. This is bad. I need to say something. What are you doing here? I see his smile turn more into confusion. Um, same as you. I'm buying groceries. Right, right, yeah. God, this is awkward. <laughs> well, I really should be going, I say as I start to scan my groceries. Oh, okay. He says. That was not disappointment in his voice. He's not disappointed to see you go. Those are the same eyes he gives everyone. Everyone has seen those gorgeous blue eyes. Look at- What do you mean blue eyes? Okay. <laughs> I need to see what this person looks like. We're gonna find these blocks. <laughs> they go in the grocery stores, they're holding hands. <laughs> I can't. This is they like, have six sides, that's it. <laughs> this is like if you took our world, you eliminated all the humans, and you put Minecraft blocks that are set yeah, together. Yeah, exactly. It, it, like, this story would make sense if it wasn't, like, two characters of- Blocks like it would Maybe be a they regular story. If they were like humanized, this would be a regular story. Yeah. I love okay. that they gave him blue eyes. It's just a purple yeah, block. Like, it's it's, it's just purple. <laughs> <laughs> He's the purple wow. guy for real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. Um. Everyone, once I had finished up scanning and packing my groceries, I paid and started to leave when I felt a hand grab my wrist. <gasps> wrist, yes. <laughs> wrist! When I turn, I see Obsidian looking almost as surprised as I am, like he didn't mean to grab me. Um, sorry, he says, and as quickly as he had grabbed me, he let me go. I immediately felt colder, like I, I had lost an important warmth that I wanted, no, needed to be there. I watched as he walked past me to exit the store, leaving his groceries behind me. <gasps> no, not his bananas! <laughs> oh good, now I get to read. <laughs> okay, Fuck. if I had to read again. Oh jeez. I can't believe I did that! I, me, the common collected obsidian, just grabbed my crush like that. I, I shouldn't have done that! It was stupid! Probably thinks I'm weird now. He probably hates me. He probably never wants to see me again. <laughs> Before I could spiral any further, I bumped into something. No, not something. Someone. I mean, technically you guys are all blocked, so technically you bumped into something. <laughs> it was crafting some table. Block. Yeah, it was some- Yeah, it's like the, the My Little Pony thing, where instead of saying, like, somebody, they say some pony. <laughs> oh, like every pony or something. Yeah. 
So, I mean, in this universe, it would have been like, I bumped into some block. <laughs> <laughs> it was Crafting Table. She looked happy to see me. Hey, Crafting Table, I said with a smile. <laughs> hey, Obsidia. Uh, how are you? She asked cheerfully. I should be asking you that. It's your anniversary, after all. Crafting Table rolls her eyes. Yeah, the eyes that she has. You guys really don't have to make it. Wait, you guys really don't have to make Thin a big deal. This, probably. Yay. <laughs> but we have to! We're all so happy for you in Furness! How could we just ignore your one year anniversary? Crafting Table tries to act annoyed, but it is betrayed by the slight upward curl of the, of the corners of her mouth. Thanks, she says. What are you doing here anyway? Shouldn't you be with Furness? Crafting Table looks like she just remembered something. Oh, right. So, apparently, Furness forgot to get the noodles for the spaghetti she's going to make to- Oh, they're- they're lesbians! <laughs> oh, <no>. Let's go! <laughs> Cut to table says with a fond look in her eyes. She- I let out a giggle and shake my head. It definitely sounds like something she would do. Cut to table smiles and nods. Okay, well, I really need to get that spaghetti. I'll see you tonight! She hugs me goodbye and walks to the grocery store. I smile as I continue to walk back to my house, nestled by the nether portal. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. <laughs> now, I just need to wrap their gift and get ready for tonight. It'll be fun. I know it. It's crazy. I love how I'm getting recommended secret lab gaming chairs on the side here. <laughs> I looked it up once to get Cameron in the goddamn chair, and then they won't stop. <laughs> I'm still getting Wattpad premium ads. Well, maybe it's a sign. You're like, hey, you're here every Saturday. Why don't you throw us a couple dollars? <laughs> or honestly, maybe it's because of my ad blocker. Hold on. Let me, like... Okay, let me disable it, and let me refresh. What was the, uh... I, mean, I am getting oh Disney bundle Hulu Disney Plus uh, Disney Plus and Hulu okay interesting I've had AdBlocker for a while AdBlocker does not work on the Wattpad website it, re <laughs> it just refuses <laughs> all right cobblestones POV yeah, why do I have to <laughs> read all of this? Cause you're yeah. cobblestone. Well, I should have. I wanted obsidian. How well, about that? Well, fine. You can read obsidian now. <laughs> Yay. Okay, fine. I'll read cobblestone. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was kind of weird. But you know, life goes on, <laughs> and I'm not gonna let myself think about the warmth of its hands, or the intensity of his eyes, or the way that they seem to pierce straight into his soul. He wasn't going to think about that at all. He was going to focus on putting his groceries away and getting the house ready for the party tonight that Obsidian would be tending. Nope. No. Focus! <laughs> Cleaning and drying the dishes and putting them away. Sweeping the house. Dusting the table and other knickknacks. Okay, done. Now I need to get dressed. Easy enough. What should I wear? Sure. I? I should probably go more casual, but what color? Blue, maybe? Just like Obsidian's eyes? Okay, no. Uh, Wrong train of thought. I'm gonna go gray. I, I always pull off gray. <laughs> it's a cobblestone block. <laughs> you're gonna wait. You're gonna wear gray when you're already gray. It doesn't match. Yeah. Okay, I finally have my outfit together. There's only ten minutes till people start arriving. I walk out into the living area to see crafting table and furnace sitting on the couch, already dressed. You ready? Furnace asks. Of course I am. I don't know if I'm telling the truth. The house was practically filled with blocks, with furnaces and crafting tables combined friends. I, I just I would, I read that like there's a bunch of crafting tables and furnaces. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the the Marty the zebra thing in like Madagascar too. <laughs> Apparently, there's only one crafting table and furnace in this whole world. Yeah, it's and crazy. it's these guys. <laughs> uh, 
the house was at max capacity. I'm not the most social block. So, typically, I find a quarter to sit in and watch people. People getting drinks, laughing with each other, playing games, a classic party. Except for the fact... Except for the fact Brick kept giving me eyes. Does he want to talk to me? They just have a brick. <laughs> I, I can't it's tell brick. if it's the, like, the brick block, or if they just mean, like, the, like, the I think brick, it's brick item. Block. Yeah, just a singular item. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was like the item slot for brick. <laughs> it's probably the block. Brick block. Yeah. I met eyes with him and he starts walking over. Did he want to talk to me? Hey, cutie, he says as he puts a hand on the wall near my head. Uh, hey, I said confused. Want to go back to my place? Um, no, not really. I <laughs> started to sweat. Will he meet me alone? Oh, come on. I know you want to. I really don't. And just as I'm about to punch him in the gut, I see a familiar hand grip Brick's shoulder and turn him around. Uh, 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 obsidian? Question mark. Oh, shit, that's me. Yeah, no shit, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> You've been bitching to be obsidian and now I give it to you and you fuck up the Not lines. Me. I thought you had the. I, was, I didn't even see that obsidian POV in it. POV in the middle of this. <laughs> I screwed myself. Alright. I really gotta calm down right now, but I know that's not an option. I have my brow set in the scariest face that I could muster. Brick isn't going to mess with cobblestone again. Hmm. I turn him around and look him in the eyes. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I'm asking out this hottie, duh. Do you even know his name? No. Why do I need to know that? I just want to have a little fun with him. That broke me. Stars clouded my vision as I pick up Brick and drag him outside, ready to beat the life out of- God dang, okay. <laughs> just so as I make it to the grass, I feel a soft tap at my shoulder. When I turn, I see Cobblestone with a scared look in his eyes. Please don't hurt him. I couldn't live knowing that you hurt someone because of me. <laughs> the gentle but mildly afraid look in his eyes. The soft tone of his- Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Need more juice. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what's the problem? Are you not having a good time right <laughs> now? Oh, totally. I'm having a great time. Yay! A soft tone of his voice. That's what made Obsidian put Brick down. If it has anyone else, he would have argued until he was beating two people up. He couldn't even imagine hurting Cobblestone, and if someone else did, there would be no stopping him. I can't meet his eyes. His beautiful green eyes. The eyes that I loved looking at so much. Hold disappointment in them. He is disappointed in me, and before I can say anything, he walks away. I need to talk to him. I need to follow him. But I know he doesn't want to talk to me. He needs time alone, and I need to respect that. He wouldn't just hate me more if I showed up now. I just need to give him space. I know that there is a still a party going on, but I won't be very good company right now, so I should just go home. But I don't want to go home yet. If I go home now, then I'm just going to be thinking too much. That's not what I need right now. The only thing on my mind is cobblestone. He probably hates me now. He probably never wants to see me again. I wouldn't blame him. I freaked him out, and now he's probably terrified of me. I don't want that. I want cobblestone to be afraid of me. As I'm trudging home, I look at the birch tree that I com that I comforted them under. It feels like that happened so long ago, but in reality, it was only a few days. No block has ever made me feel this way before, and I messed it up by letting my temper get in the way. I don't think I'll ever find something like him again. I'm such a screw-up. Womp yeah. womp. <laughs> Did you just say womp womp? Oh my god, the why drama! Is, why is it like... I just realized, but... It's just like, there's only BL 
and um, what is it? It's like the, the girl lesbian. Yeah, the lesbian. Yeah. It's like that's like the only thing going on in, in this world. Yeah. <laughs> There's no heterosexuals. Well, they don't need to reproduce. They're just blocks. <laughs> Their birth rate is gonna plummet. I mean, they probably live forever. <laughs> The only they, heterosexual couple is probably uh, Water and Lava. Yeah. They keep reproducing cobblestone. Yeah, and, and Obsidian by accident when one goes over the ledge a little bit too much. Oh, yeah. That's when a Lava dies, it gets turned to Obsidian. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't enjoy the party. Obsidian's fresh in my mind. Was he really, really willing to go that far just for him? It was sweet, but he didn't want Obsidian to hurt people. He just, he just such more of a caring person. Where did he go anyway? Was he mad at me just because I stopped him? Does he even want to talk to me? Oh my god, why do these books that we've been reading, like these, these problems could be fixed easily by communication? <laughs> That's the easy option, yeah. Yeah. That would be the case because I can't find him anywhere. As I walk through the party, I'm looking for a particular familiar face. Furnace. She's always great with advice, and right now, it definitely, it's definitely something I need. I see her by the kitchen counter, pouring herself a glass of juice we had set out prior to the party for the guests. When she turns around, she has a smile on her face that was almost infectious. Almost. I gently grab her by the arm and lead her to a small office room where to keep all of our gaming systems. <laughs> <laughs> they got a fucking Nintendo Switch in there. <laughs> These are literally humans yeah. portraying as blocks. Yeah, basically. <laughs> What's up? She asks, concerned in her voice promptly. I think Obsidian hates me. Are you kidding me? He hasn't taken his eye off you since you walked in. That boy would <laughs> never hate you. My face, I could feel my face heat up at Furnace's comments. Did Obsidian really like, really look at me like that? <laughs> yeah, right, as if. I tried to smoothly brush off, but fail. You're blushing, Furnace mocks with a grin. It's just hot in this room. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, it's so hot in here. She laughs and walks out of the room, back into the party. Alone again, maybe I should go find him. Where would he even be? By the, uh, the by the nether portal? In the sunflower field? I guess the only way to really know is to go looking for myself. Just to check up on him. That's it. No other reason. It might be... It might just be me wanting to apologize, but I want to be close to Obsidian right now. Da, da, da. <laughs> He's heating up. He is him right now. Alright, I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to go see Cobblestone? Of course, but the real question is whether or not he wants to see me. Uh, no, I can't think about him right now. I need to find something to take my mind off things. Watching ghasts in a netter has always helped me before, so why not give that a try? <laughs> Ghast watching is a pastime of Obsidian, I guess. Yeah, it's like bird watching. <laughs> The walk to the nether portal is a short but familiar one. I've li lived at the nether portal my whole life. I wonder how Obsidian feels that his kind is being used as a portal to another dimension. <laughs> Stepping through the portal has always been relaxing. It reminds me of when me and some of the other blocks would chase each other through while playing tag. As the purple haze engulfs me, I try so he's just hand he's just standing on his other obsidian brethren and yeah. just not having a thought in his mind. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, as the purple haze engulfs me, I try to clear my mind. It's no good going through a portal with bad thoughts. When I step back out, there are no blocks waiting for me. Obviously, it's nighttime. No blocks awake, mm -hmm. which is probably a good thing. I'm not up for a conversation right now. Walking along the Warren Netherite portals is nostalgic to say the least. I remember walking with all the other block, uh, other younger blocks and showing them around. Younger blocks? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I have no idea. Showing them around. I remember when we would pull pranks on the other older blo 
older blocks just to get a reaction out of them. I remember playing in the soul sand with quartz and glowstone. <laughs> I could always go talk to them, but I'm pretty sure they hate me now that I live in the overworld. Yeah, how dare he? <laughs> Wait. He should always be in the overworld. He was never in another. You can find obsidian blocks in another. Can you? Yeah, from like ruined nether portals in there. Oh, yeah, I guess. I love quartz and glowstone, I always will. They were a big part of my life and I could never even think of hating them, but as soon as I go to the overworld, things changed. I think they were mad that I got a chance and they didn't. I don't even know if I would fix it if, were I to go back in time. I would never have met Cobblestone, but I messed that up already. I'm always only left with memories. I can't even be sad. I do it myself. Right now, I need to calm down. I remember how I used to go sit in the lava pools when my mind just wouldn't be quiet. That might work now. The walk towards the lava pools is a familiar one. Walking past the soul sand and netherrack. As more memories start to resurface, I walk a bit faster. While there are some good memories here, there are also some bad ones. Womp womp. Ones that are not very fun to think about. A lot of blocks from the nether were pretty fiery, I guess you could say. Always wanting the last laugh and the most intention attention. I was never really like that. That's why I migrated towards Quartz and Glowstone. <laughs> He's just giving his whole backstory right now. Yeah, basically. He's like, this is why I act like this. This is who oh, I am. <laughs> this is me. This is Obsidian. <laughs> While Glowstone was the louder of the two, she was still very kind. Quartz, however, was almost quieter than me. I guess that's what drew me to him. He just... The author is just randomly assigning genders to blocks. <laughs> you're a girl. You're a boy. You're a girl. You're a boy. I'm, I, it's just like, just assume it, you know? <laughs> Can't assume things in 2024. I what guess. Are you doing? It, well, I mean, this was 2021. Times were different back then. No, it was still, it was still like that back then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true. Where was I? I lost my spot. I can't believe you. Oh, oh, that's why I migrated towards Quartz and Glowstone. While Glowstone was a louder of the two, she was still very kind. Quartz, however, was almost quieter than me. I guess that's what drew me to him. There were a lot of things that drew me to Quartz. <laughs> His eyes, the way he seemed to always know what to say when he did eventually talk, he made me feel safe until two years ago. But I don't need to think about that right now. I've made it to the lava pools, but they aren't empty. A familiar face sits among the lava. Quartz. <gasps> Batch. Oh my god, how, it's how much do we. Okay, we have four more chapters. Okay. I was like, we, I feel like I've been reading this for years. <laughs> I think I've aged <laughs> like three years now. Yeah, I'm, I'm 27 now. <laughs> I'm an old man. I've looked everywhere. The pumpkin patch, the birch tree, even the flower field. I can't find obsidian anywhere. Well, I haven't looked everywhere. I haven't gone to the nether port to look for him. Would that be weird? I've never gone to the nether, and now I'm out in the blue for a guy that just ran off in a party? But I want him to know that I'm not mad at him. I want to make sure he is not mad at me. What if he is mad at me? What if he never wants to see me again? That's exactly why I need to check the nether. I walked to the nether portal with a bit of nerve wracking. Was it like in, what was it like in the nether? What if I get hurt? What if I get lost? Do that me. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop thinking. Just walk through the portal and look for obsidian. That's all you can care about right now. Building up the courage while walking. I finally make it through the portal, taking deep breaths. I step through the purple haze. I get kind of woozy, like I was about to throw up. Or sorry, threw up. <laughs> but I kept it together well enough. When I came to my face with the red land of the nether, I can't say that I'm a little, not a little scared. All the gas and magma cubes. But they're, 
but this is for obsidian and obsidian alone. Oh, that's my point. What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Why, why, why would they put it just POV you again? I was like, yeah, it's your turn now. <laughs> no, okay. I was, I was to reading, a... and I was like, oh wait, it's cobblestone again. And I was like, wait a minute. Why? why? Just keep it all the same. <sighs> the Nether was expansive. I mean, so is the Overworld. But I know my way around the Overworld. Down here, it's dark and kind of unnerving. I wish I had obsidian with me right now. So I'm here. To find obsidian. As I walk further, I hear a familiar voice, accompanied by another. I peeked around the corner to see obsidian, but he's with someone else. This person is stepping out of the lava pool and walks towards its obsidian. He kisses obsidian on the cheek and gives him a hug. Oh, he has a boyfriend. That's fine. It's not like I had a chance with him anyway. Something hot is streaming to my face. Ah, oh, tears. I'm crying. Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I slick off back to the nether portal and head home. The emotion truly hits as I step through the door. Furnace and in, in, uh, crafting table are sitting on the couch. I don't want to disturb them, so I quickly watch my room. I sit on my bed and lay down, but sleep never comes. The only thing is on my mind was to focus on obsidian. I don't know why I'm so broken about this. It's not like he ever liked me. It's not like he ever cared. Or maybe he did care, and I just scared him off. He just found someone new that sounds just like me. The screw up. Boo hoo. No. Womp. <laughs> it's getting all negative now. Yeah, this is a big ass negative Nancy right now. Uh, okay, Obsidian's POV. Quartz advances made my tum my made my stomach turn. Get away from me. How many times do I have to tell you? We're over. I moved on. You should too. I turn and walk away. I need to get to the overworld right now. The nether brings back too many memories, and I don't think I'm as fond of quartz. Too many memories are resurfacing. I feel like I'm about to puke, so as quickly as I can, I make it to back to the portal, and I step through the familiar haze. The portal never used to make me sick, but today it's damn close to making me throw up. I walk home feeling trains, but I can't help but feel like something's wrong. More wrong than what just happened. My skin is crawling along with the tired feeling that seeps into my obsidian. <laughs> See, <laughs> what I say obsidian? That seeps into my bones. I don't have enough energy to think about it right now. All that I'm focused on right now is getting home and going to sleep. The walk home seems to take an eternity, and when I open that wooden door and see my bed, it's like heaven. Almost as soon as my head hits the pillow, I'm out cold. That night, my dreams aren't too happy, almost like they're foreshadowing something to come. When I woke up that morning, I had a nagging thought in the back of my mind that told me that I needed to go see Cobblestone. Uh, I don't know what it is, but he was on my mind the entire night. I decided that uh, I should actually talk about what happened at the party and ask for forgiveness. Will he even want to see me? I guess the only way to find out is to go over to his house and see. I'm trying to not I'm trying not to let my nerves get the best of me, but by the time I'm about to knock on the front door, I'm shaking. I feel my thoughts start to overwhelm me. What if he hates me? What if he never wants to see me again? What if he's told furnace and crafting table and now they hate me too? Before I can spiral anymore, the door opens. Standing in front of me is Furnace. Hey? She says sounding confused. Hey, is Cobblestone home? A knowing look crossed her, crosses her face for a moment, and then she smiles. Yeah, he's in his room, just down the hall. I nod at her and start walking. <laughs> get, a, get a skirt across the, the floor. I just like, 
Real, I'm just like visualizing these blocks walking around. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. I'm imagining them as like prop hunt blocks. Just walking around this like house made out of other blocks. <laughs> I couldn't bring. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, what? How many more chapters are there? Too many. I mean, three. <laughs> three? How do you know? Because I looked on the side. <laughs> oh, for the side, but what do you mean? Well, when I press the little thing, as we're on. Oh, the yeah, yeah. If you yeah. click the drop down, it says there's three. Okay. Yeah, I got do you. We have, do we have time? Or. Yeah. Yeah, we got time. We got time? Yeah, if we speed run through this. <laughs> Alright, speed run. Let's go. I couldn't bring myself to get out of bed this morning. Obsidia and that guy were fresh in my mind. I don't know what to do. Do I comfort confront him about it? What is there to confront? Hey, I know we aren't dating, but like, I have a huge crush on you, and seeing you kiss that guy made my soul scatter. Yeah, great plan. <laughs> I should just pretend like I never saw anything. He didn't see me. I didn't see him. Yeah, that's what I'll do. A gentle knock comes from my door. Oh, furnace again. How many times do I gotta tell her that I'm fine? Uh, cobblestone? I know that voice, and it's definitely not Furnace. Why is he here? I thought he had a boyfriend. Does he know that I saw him and wants to never speak to him again? Can I come in? After about a minute of silence, I turn to walk away, but I hear a small voice come from the door. Come in. Slowly, I open the door and peek in. Hey. Hey. When I walk in, I see Cobblestone sitting on the side of his bed, looking panicked. He's trying to situate his bed. Uh, bed must... Bed must hair? Oh, messy bed hair? <laughs> oh, bed messed hair. Okay. I have to admit, it's really cute. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> alright. What are you doing way. here? I wanted to see you. Is that okay? I asked kind of sheepishly. His face tense that his face tense red as he responds. Yeah. Why does he have to come over now? I'm still in my pajamas and my hair isn't even brushed. I'm a mess. I put furnace on him in. She didn't even she didn't even tell me. God, I'm gonna kill her when I make it out of here with my dignity. Why would he even care how I look? He already has someone. He doesn't need me. I. Th at that thought, I felt my mood sour. Obsidian must have noticed something in my face as he gently asked, Is everything okay? No, everything's not okay. The person I had the biggest crush on and I thought liked me back was just playing me the whole damn time. Of course I'm not okay. I'm fine. Why do you want- why do you ask? My reply came out a bit harsher as I intended, but at, at this point I cannot bring myself to care. I see something in my in his eyes change, almost like pain. No, that's impossible. My brain is just seeing things he wants to see. It's just it feels like you're avoiding me. I feel my my blood rush hot to my veins. Why does he even care? So what if I am? I replied sharply. I can see obsidian tense out of the corner of my eye. It's not like you care anyway. What makes you think that? I saw you at the lava pool. A bit of silence <laughs> passes through. Are you at the lava pool? <laughs> yeah. I saw you with that bitch. <laughs> For Obsidian can re reply, I continue. Were you leading me on this entire time? Because I thought what we had was special. I thought you liked me. The last sentence comes out like a lot, a lot less force than I first intended. I wanted to really send it home how mad I was at him for toying with me and my feelings. But not just straight up telling him, hey, I don't actually like you like that. That would have been so much easier. Before I could divulge you deeper into the nasty parts of my brain, I feel those hands on my face gently pull my chin up and forward. It, it happened so fast, I had no time to react. Before I knew it, Obsidian had pulled me f into a kiss, and I didn't stop him. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit, I can continue. I didn't think my <laughs> mind <laughs> just completely short-circuited for about two seconds. Because as soon as I was back online and functioning, I was already out the door. Apparently my legs had gotten much better reaction time than my brain because my legs had already taken me out of my room and halfway to the hall to lead outside. I think that my legs actually had the right idea in the situation. I def defeatedly needed to go somewhere or talk to someone or wait. <laughs> no, my only friends in this house are currently 
in this house currently, and there's no way I'm going home, going back, unless I have at least an hour away. Obsidian would have left by then. When I open the door and step out, I let out a breath I didn't even know I was holding. How the fuck does that work? Anyway, I felt <laughs> much better to be outside. The house was starting to get stuffy. I, I gotta have to talk to Furnace about getting some new fans in the house. <laughs> The ones that we have are pretty weak and don't really improve air circulation one bit, but I'm getting off track. <laughs> so, Why are these blocks getting- these blocks are more personified in this Minecraft fanfiction than other actual human stories. But yeah! So, space. Where can one get space in such a short notice? There's the pumpkin patch or the flower field, but Obsidian would check both of those places. Wait, the abandoned village. There, it was far enough away for Obsidian not to look there, and close enough to be in walking distance. Perfect. See, it is like they, there was civilization here. <laughs> yeah. The walk really wasn't that far away from the house, but to get there you had to go through the dark oak forest, and everyone says that it's haunted, so no one ever walks through. But I might be a bit superstitious. But I was raised in these woods. Me and Crafting Table would play here almost every day. So to me, there's nothing to be afraid of. The walk was a septic as it always is. The birds in the trees enjoying their day peacefully, eating bugs and flying around. Leaves crunching underneath my feet. A sound that would be usually serve as comfort, but today it just put me on edge even more. Why would he just kiss me like that? Was it some kind of sick joke? Obsidian would do- wouldn't do something like that, like, would he? Just- that just doesn't seem like him. Then again, I didn't know much about Obsidian. Apparently he had a secret boyfriend that no one knew about. Myself included. Whatever. The whole reason I'm out here is to clear my mind and stop thinking about Obsidian. Obsidian's point of view. <laughs> okay, I did not mean for that to happen. Honestly, I didn't even mean to kiss him. It was a very spur-of-the-moment decision. Words were being said, and really, I just panicked. I can't believe Cobblestone saw that weirdo kiss me. <laughs> I need to fix That's this immediately. <laughs> <laughs> a few long strides through Cobblestone's room and a few more in the living room. I was at the front door when a voice stopped me. What the hell just happened in there? Furnace was standing in the doorway to the kitchen with a scowl on her face. I was practically shocked into silence. Mouth hanging slightly open unintelligently. I really hadn't expected that anyone to be out here, which was stupid, considering Furnace let me in the first place. I let you in here to go to talk to Cobblestone, and then he storms out a few minutes later? What did you say to him? Uh, well, it's a lo really long story. Well, tell it to me. I'm sure it was. it's interesting. I take a deep breath and take a moment to sort out the events in my head before it had felt like a bit of a blur, but now that it was fully sorted, I feel kind of like an, an ass. Well, the whole reason Cobblestone was upset was because of me. The other night after the party, I was upset and wanted to go somewhere familiar, so I went to the lava pools and another. When I got there, one of my old childhood friends was there. We chatted for a while, and when we went to leave, he kissed me. And I guess that Cobblestone had gone looking for me in the nutter and saw me and my now ex-friend. Furnace nods her head uh, her head listening intently to get the rest of the story. Then, this morning, I felt bad about trying to fight Brick at the party and wanted to come apologize for getting so wound up because I thought that was what he was mad about. I take a deep breath trying to forget how absolutely stupid I acted before continuing. And that was when, that was when I found out what he was really mad about. And he was kind, sort of, or any kind, he kind of, sort of confessed to me about liking me and when he said it when he said it i was like oh my gosh this can't be <laughs> happening <laughs> and then i thought well what do i do i'm just standing here like an idiot and i did something even stupider and i kissed him and then he ran off <laughs> okay after a beat of silence furnace finally speaks again wow that's a lot i know i'm such an idiot Hey, you're not an idiot, and you know what? You remind me a lot of how I was with Crafting Table when I was trying to confess to her. Love makes us stupid, man. 
but you really should go explain what happened to him before he starts plotting your murder. Despite my best efforts, a small chuckle escapes me, and I look at the ground, feeling somewhat sheepish. Thanks, Ernest. I'm gonna go talk to him. Where do you think he went? Probably the old abandoned village we used to visit when we were kids. Damn. If you walk through the dark oak forest, you'll find it no problem. Good luck. Thanks for everything. And before she can respond, I'm out the door and heading for the forest that I used to be terrified of as a kid. I'm gonna make this right. I like how he knew, she knew immediately. <laughs> Alright, this is I, you, man. I took a deep breath as the forest came into view. Even in my older age, the forest gave me the creeps. Something about how the trees loomed over you. Leaves smother, smothering any possible light. But that was the last thing on my mind right now. I need to find cobblestone and make things right. The path to the village was clear, worn down, and obvious with use. Stealing himself, he ventured into the dark. The village was so quiet, and I felt my muscles relax. The familiar sight of the worn down stone wall me and Furnace used to play pretend with was comforting, and I sat myself beside it, my head falling against its mossy exterior. He was just so tired. I wish things would never change between me and Obsidian. Then we would still be sitting underneath the birch tree, talking and laughing together. That was all over now. He needed to accept that. I'm not sure how much time passed before I, he heard leaves crunching and an all too familiar voice. Cobblestone, cobblestone, I know you're here. <laughs> That's the same vibes as Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Yeah. <laughs> I need to explain things. I yelled into the village, hoping I wasn't just yelling at empty air. A moment passed before I heard a response. What is there to explain? A flood of relief washed over me. Thank God he was here. A lot, actually. I'm sorry I kissed you so suddenly earlier. I got carried away. No kidding. I rounded a wall and saw a cobblestone sitting there. Knees tucked up. Knees? Yeah, they have what knees. knees? Hands. What fucking knees? <laughs> 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 Blocks have knees and eyes and freaking ears. Head, shoulders, yeah, knees, and toes, I guess. <laughs> Knees tucked up against his chest and his chin resting on top. What you saw in the nether was a mistake. I haven't talked to courts in years and I had no idea they would kiss me. Something flashed across his face briefly before he looked up at me. Really? I nod. Cobblestone, I love you. I think you're the most amazing block in the whole world. Hell, in all the realms. That's true though, Cobblestone to go. In Minecraft, at least, yeah. on this fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> I took a deep. He took a deep breath, not daring to look, not daring to look at Cobblestone. I think you're so handsome and fun. All right, can you read the rest of this? Thanks. I think you're so handsome and funny. It makes me my chest hurt. I never thought in a million years I would feel the same. You same way about me. If if you could forgive me, then I'd like to spend the rest of my life with you. He could feel his eyes growing wet from from crying. I hope. And chance and changed a look at the object of his affection. To his surprise, Cobblestone was gazing at him, his eyes wide and full of tears. His lip was quivering, and his face was red. Before he could say anything, Cobblestone leapt up from where he sat and pulled Obsidian into a clashing kiss. Their teeth knocked. Obsidian thought he might have busted his lip, but it was the most amazing kiss he ever had. I love you too, Cobblestone replies after some time. I only smiled and held him. Furnace and crafty table will never let us live this one down. I laugh. No, they won't. But I wasn't worried about that right now. All I cared about was cobblestone and the contour of shoulders on my arms. The end. <laughs> Goddamn. It took us so long. <laughs> I am in shock. Yeah. But what would you think? Did you like it? <laughs> uh, I am fortunately drinking juice, so I maybe I'll repress this from my memory. Don't worry, I'll I'll send you the upload when I get done with this. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I hate hearing my voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I I guess the only thing left to do now is spin the wheel to see how you're gonna suffer next Saturday. <laughs> oh, oh God. 
Alright, we got a lot of options. I'm really hoping for the Harvey X Reader. Kung Fu Panda. No! That was better the than Kung the Panda. Minecraft one, at least. Yeah. Ooh! Oh my god, there's a rigged. dreams do come true! <laughs> it's rigged. What do you mean it's rigged? You it's watch rigged. me! You watch me spin this! It's rigged. This is a playback video. Fuck you, you're just jealous. <laughs> Go enjoy your freaking The Baron ad. Briggs the restaurants. Just one of this month's specials at Briggs. I don't know where the fuck a Baron is. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Report bad ad and <laughs> close ad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, at least you don't have to suffer anymore. Harvey is here to save us. <laughs> He's like, he, for us like reading fanfiction, he's like Jesus. He comes to save when we're in desperate need of, of like a cleansing palette. Yeah, see, he comes to save you at the most opportune times. What do you mean? What do you mean me? It's, what do you mean? It's us! It's like the, it's like the ninth time now. Yeah. Actually, I think it's the sixth. I, I, I lost count. Six or the, this might actually be the seventh reading of Harvey. And since we've read it, there's two more chapters, so we're never gonna finish it. I'm telling you, it's one piece, it's not gonna end. Unless it just randomly got completed while we were waiting. Just watch. We're gonna read that one, and it's immediately gonna... <laughs> yeah, they also got tired, they just wanted to finish it. They, they like, sense it in the universe of us reading two chapters, and like, something just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thanks for joining me in, in this dumpster uh, behind the Target for this Wattpad book club episode. Really appreciate it. But I appreciate the vibes that you bring to the studio. No. <laughs> no. <Anyone>, uh, okay. <laughs> but, I'm uh, disappointed. I'm sorry. Check out the playlist for other videos that Minho's been on. Mainly Wattpad. That's all you, know, that's all you do in live streams, which we gotta do in like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> But, but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Minho, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Goodbye.